All right, week one. So I want to give a bit of an overview of what you should expect to see in this uh, week. And we're going to be focusing mostly on two things, and that's vectors and matrices. Now, what we'll be looking in is what are vectors, what are matrices, and the common operations that you will be, like the common mathematical operations that you'll be using on them. And then we'll also be focusing a lot on how this actually relates to Maya. Now, this is going to be really, really important to really break down your understanding of what is actually happening in computer graphics, because these are fundamental building blocks of computer graphics. An understanding of this is an understanding of the language of computer graphics. Uh, like vectors and matrices are to CG what the alphabet is to literature. So the better we understand these and we understand how to work with these, the more open we are to really separate like our knowledge from Maya and making it a lot more general. An understanding of this will really allow us to understand how deformers work and their limitations. Uh, for instance, like why a skin cluster will collapse and do like the candy wrapping when you rotate it without twist joints. All of these things is really, really crucial to be able to really build upon your kind of previous knowledge and expand out. Now, one thing that you can do, for instance, with uh, some basic vector math is these things. So what I've done here is a very simple kind of drag calculation, which just has the, uh, the sphere follow after the locator. It's a very simple setup, but you need to know the maths behind it to really get what's going on. The other one is finding the closest point on a capsule. This can also work on finding the closest point on a sphere. And as soon as you have these things, you can even extend these further to basically create collision setups. Now, you can already do these kind of things in Maya, but as I mentioned, the key point here is to really understand what's going on and be able to kind of build up this math for yourself so that you're not just limited to a button in Maya. I could now take this, these setups that I have here and I could go into like the Unreal Game Engine or Unity and replicate them there. It just means that I'm freed up a lot more to replicate setups and have consistency across my pipeline and really, really know what's going on here. Uh, even things in Maya, for instance, like with matrix operations, we can use some uh, matrix math instead of pairing constraints, which will mean cleaner rigs and actually faster rigs as well in some cases. So I really hope that you stick with me. It's going to be a lot of interesting stuff uh, and it's going to be a bit theory heavy as sometimes, like I said, but rest assured we will be putting that into Maya as well and giving you some practical knowledge of, for instance, how to place pole vectors and looking into a bit of deformer math as well. Cool, so let's get into it.